Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. And today is day 20 of the 21 days of prayer and fasting for July of 2024. Somebody say hallelujah. And as you are reading uh, John chapter 20, we are seeing all the miraculous things that are going on with the resurrection. And we just pray that the Lord will deeply bless you as you go further and further into the Word of God. But today, I want to read from Revelation 12, verses 10 to 11. Then I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ have come for the accuser of our brethren who accused them before our God day and night and has been cast down. Somebody say hallelujah. This will be an absolutely fantastic day when ultimately God comes to bring judgment against Satan who is the accuser of the brethren. In actual fact, he goes to and fro this earth looking to weaken the nations to set our course in a different direction towards God's destiny and plan for each of our life's precious saints. The Bible also goes on and speaks about in John 8 verse 44. It speaks about the devil and it says this because of his deceptions. You are the father, the devil, and the desires of your father you want to go. For he is a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in truth because there is no truth in him. For he speaks a lie. He speaks from his own resources. For he is a liar and the father of it. Precious saints, the devil is a liar. He is the father of all lies. He lied to Adam and Eve. He lied to everybody since that particular time. He will accuse us before God and he will also lie about us to God. The devil will lie to us about God and he will also lie to us to God. That's the devil. So in today's passage, we see Satan is called the devil, which means slanderer. He is a slanderer or liar. So he lies to man about God and he lies to God about man. He is the accuser of the brethren. He is a liar. He is a cheat. As it says, according to John 10 verse 10, the devil comes to steal, kill and to destroy. He is a thief. He has come to lie. He has come to slander. He has come to bring deception and so forth. And that is all he's good for. His agenda has always been to defeat God and anyone who lives for him, precious saints. He hates God and anything to do with the worship and message of the one true God. That's why he'll interrupt your prayer time. He'll interrupt your worship time. He'll interrupt uh, crusade meetings. He'll interrupt revival meetings. He'll try to interrupt with church services. He will do everything to cause us not to seek the one true God. He will do whatever it takes. He will ensure that the lost remain lost and to prevent the saved from serving. He has the power to inflict harm and to bring about chaos and to carry out his plans. And typically, he is very subtle in his approach. Precious saints, the devil is very subtle, deceptive, he may not even just appear to you as the devil. If he did that in his demonic form, everyone would fight against him. But he is a deceiver. He is a liar and a cheat, precious saints. So Satan's agenda comes packaged so deceptively that we may never know we're coming under demonic attack at times. And that is true. He can come into your home, come through your televisions, come through your children's devices, electronic devices, come and attack your spouse, uh, come and attack you in your dreams, come and attack you in your, against your finances or your health, whatever it is, 
he comes in to bring a diabolical attack so for us to understand this we must go deeper so according to proverbs chapter 3 we see that as throughout that scripture it says that god considers evil to be arrogance and pride as well as when people plot to harm others oppress the poor and stir up dissension all these are mentioned in proverbs chapter 3 it also says that god hates all forms of evil this means that god detests even the deception that happens in small areas of our heart he wants these things removed from us precious saints the things that we meditate the things that we watch the things that we listen to he doesn't want those things to stir up in our hearts and cause us to have evil in our hearts see and this is why because god is opposed to anything that is contrary to him and his agenda to give us an abundant life full of love full of grace full of forgiveness full of healing peace and ultimately preparation for his soon coming precious saints the lord he is coming back soon he is going to come and snatch his bride at the appointed time but in that time while he tarries we continue to occupy and for my job he said to go and to tell them i am coming back soon precious saints when the lord said to me we have two years before they start to do something that will stop and hinder your travels so that's why i've been out praying fasting praying being sent out and even as we're preparing to go to africa very soon we are believing something must be ignited we are way too close to the end it is now time for something to be ignited within this very hour because he is coming back soon so in contrast satan's agenda is to steal kill and to destroy as i've mentioned the bible describes satan as an enemy according to 1 peter 5 8 it says he prowls around like a roaring lion ready to devour he is ready to devour he's always on the look to devour someone precious saints and although he was defeated at the cross the enemy still wreaks havoc within our lives by lying by deceiving by corrupting everything that is wholesome that is good to bring shame within our hearts and to accuse us he has nothing no other better life than to accuse us that's where he gets his joy from he wants to um you know just remove us from god's presence altogether precious saints so he comes to deceive he also loves to divide families churches by creating disunity in fact one of the most subtle and lethal ways the devil attacks us is by dividing and conquering our relationships spoiling them destroying them he wants to ruin all of our relationships with friends spouses small groups parents kids and so forth because he knows that the quickest and easiest way to do this is by getting us to divide ourselves over our differences precious saints when the spirit of revival comes it brings a unity when i look back at history i see even denominations came together in unity because there was one common thread and that was the unity of the spirit that came during revival let me tell you god is coming to bring down dividing walls dividing walls that have kept us apart God is going to bring a revival that will bring people together. People will get truly born again. God is also rebuking the religious people in this hour, which we'll get to in a minute. So he loves to bring this division. He runs to, uh, to cause this stuff to go on, but he's also coming to rebuke. Yes, Jesus rebuked the religious leaders for being pawns of Satan. They were pawns on a chessboard used at any time because of their religious spirit because of their religion people unfortunately today love their religion more than the presence of god more than god himself precious saints they think they're serving god but an actual fact is 
that they love their religion more than they do the presence of God. And Christ tells us that these unsaved men, that their thoughts and ways are of the devil. He pulls back their religious facade and declares that because of their rejection of truth, they are literally being used by the devil to what? Perpetuate his lies. They are just perpetuating his lies and continue to do so. So expect them to come out of the woodwork also when revival comes because they will be the greatest attackers of revival when it comes in this end time hour. And this is a valuable insight into how our adversary works, precious saints. We see that in this view, the lies of the devil being delivered in misleading package. He's a misleading package. And this package is not what it appears to be. It is deception. So the religious leaders were not teaching the truth. They literally rejected Christ while claiming to teach God's ways. And this is Satan's expertise. He will cunningly get us to evaluate ourselves to the point of personal destruction. Be careful not to elevate your thinking over God's word. Submitting to the devil's deception always ends in destruction. Precious saints, the devil is very deceptive. He is coming to deceive. He is coming to steal. He is coming to kill. He is coming to divide. He is coming to keep people in offense. It is time for these things to be broken in our life. It is time to expose the devil for who he is so that when we walk in victory, we can have that victory knowing that Jesus Christ, when he comes back, he will find us ready and we will not fall into the devices, we will not fall into the schemes, we will not fall into the tactics or the traps of the devil. No matter what he tries to come and do to us, that we will be ready. God is declaring war on the enemy declaring war on his agents, declaring war on the forces of darkness and spiritual uh, levels. He is coming against principalities and powers. He is coming to destroy them and, and insert his authority through the church, through his church, through his ministers, that they said he, all authority is being given to us as the church. He's given us the keys of the kingdom. Whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, Whatever is loosened on this earth shall be loosened in heaven. Let me tell you today, God is going to come and deliver someone today. God is going to come and expose the deceptive things that may be happening around your house. Maybe it's household wickedness. Maybe it's witchcraft in the area. Maybe it's witchcraft in the workplace. Maybe it's witchcraft in your tertiaries, in your schools, in your universities. Wherever it is, it shall not come near you. You shall excel. You shall be blessed. You shall be a vessel that will carry revival in this end time hour, precious saints. Let me pray for you today. This special warfare prayer for you. So Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ, as we come before you through the blood of Jesus Christ, we thank you that you will forgive us of all of our sins today. We come before you, Father, the omnipotent and omnipotent God, we come before your throne of mercy, seeking your divine uh, illumination to expose the hidden enemies lurking in the shadows. Any of those with intent to cause harm, because your word says in Luke 8, 17, for nothing is hidden that will not be made manifest, nor is anything secret that will not be known and come to the light. We stand on this promise, Lord, today unmask every hidden foe, unveil every deceit, and bring to light the concealed agendas meant to bring us down. May their schemes crumble, and may their intents be laid bare before us and before you. We beseech you, Lord, to surround us with your hedge of protection, and let your divine light scatter every shadow of deceit 
disarm the hidden enemies, neutralize every threat opposed against us. Lord, we thank you for going before us. We're going with us. The fight is right now as you fight against our enemies and give us victory. Thank you for enabling us to take our positions, to stand still and to watch the Lord's victory. Righteous Father, we are not fighting against flesh and blood. We are not fighting against those enemies of the flesh, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers, against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Therefore, today, we dress ourselves in your armor so that we may be able to stand against all strategies and wiles of the devil. Lord, that we will stand our ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness, being fully prepared. We put on our shoes of peace that come from the good news of the gospel and hold up the shield of faith to stop fiery arrows of the devil we put on salvation as our helmet and we take the sword of the spirit which is the word of God and we will always pray in the spirit and on every occasion staying alert and being persistent in our prayers for all believers everywhere we stand firm today Lord on your word because your word is truth your word is truth and your sword is a spirit and it is truth therefore for we take hold today we take hold today and we beseech you today lord to take over this situation to take over our circumstances today we stand firm against every demonic attack in the form of any situations any arrows of the day any arrows of the night any bullies any terrorists any plots or schemes or assassins or abusers or rebels or rivals no weapon that is formed against us or those we are praying for or our loved ones will succeed we silence every voice raised up to accuse us for the Lord is our vindicator the thief may come to kill steal and destroy but the Lord you've promised to give us riches and a satisfying life we declare that every enemy is destroyed in the name and the power of our Lord Jesus Christ we thank you Lord for your watchful eye that keeps us safe and your mighty hand that delivers us from the snare of the fowler we walk in faith knowing that you go before us making the crooked places straight we proclaim your victory over every hidden enemy and glorify your name for your unceasing protection and guidance in the power of the name of jesus christ holy spirit help us to stay alert and to watch out for our enemy the devil who prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour and although that we are human and weak at times, help us to fight the good fight of faith right now because we know that our weapons against these forces of darkness use, Lord, today God's mighty weapons, not our worldly weapons, but we want to use your weapons to knock down, to destroy strongholds of human reasoning and false arguments. Lord God, teach us how to humble ourselves before you and to resist the devil so that he will flee from us Lord that we will not embrace a spirit of fear or timidity but we will walk in power and love and of self-discipline merciful father forgive us for all acts of sinfulness forgive us for not standing in our power and authority of your son Jesus Christ forgive us for failing to recognize that the spirit who lives in us is is greater than that which lives in the world father forgive us for acting for moving and moving ahead of you when you haven't called us to go forward lord i pray in the name of jesus christ we will not embrace this spirit of fear
We thank you that you are merciful. Remind us of those that we need to forgive and help us to be quick to forgive ourselves and others. Holy Spirit, help us not to yield to temptation, but to also deliver us from the evil one. Bless your name today, O Lord. Reveal and expose any persons around us that the enemy may be using to gain entry into our lives and to our families in Jesus' mighty name. We bind and remove from our life and ministry and households every hireling that cares not for the sheep, but would leave them defenseless against wolves. We bind and remove every Judas in whom betrayal and thievery is a way of life. We bind and remove every Absalom, who is seeking status through subversion and also stealing the hearts of people from God that is ordained. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, every Absalom spirit that is coming against leadership right now, you'll be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind and remove every spirit whose heart is against your anointed anyone that is being influenced by any spirit that is coming against God's anointed and has no intent to help or assist in fulfilling our mission, let them be removed in the name of Jesus from our lives in Jesus' mighty name. We bind and remove every cane who through jealousy and disobedience to God would seek to destroy and uh, be upright against us. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, anybody that is coming against us right now, you will remove them today in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind and remove every spirit that is coming to cause mischief. Lord, Lord, I pray that they would be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind and remove every Jezebel sent to cut off God's ministers and to stir up wickedness. Remove every spirit and every agent of Satan that would operate under the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ from any of their lives today in Jesus' mighty name. We bind and remove every agent of evil from our lives, from our families, from our businesses, from our ministries, and any area of our lives. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for angels as ministering spirits who guide and protect us. Hearken to your voice today to fight on our behalf in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we loose your protective covenant of protection over us that no evil shall befall us and no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Lord, you bring the counsel of the heathen to naught and make the devices of people of none effect. Oh, Lord, I thank you. Lord, execute vengeance upon those spirits and agents of the devil. Cause your hand to be known towards your servants and your indignation towards your enemies in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we come before you with hearts filled with faith, declaring your sovereignty over all situations. And we are confronted, oh Lord, on every side at day and night by evil, but you are going to bring us a victory. In the face of our adversary, uh, uh, adversarial attempts, we proclaim your word, which says no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And every time that rises against us in your judgment, they shall be condemned. Lord, fervently, we pray against every evil work, decreeing them null and void today in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, disintegrate every plot and scheme. Lord, let them fall flat, unable to cause any harm or distress upon us or our loved ones. We stand upon your promise that says the Lord will cause your enemies who rise up against you to be defeated before your face and they shall come out against you in one way and flee in seven directions. Expose the hidden world works of darkness, Lord, and bring to light their evil deeds. May your righteous judgment prevail, thwarting the enemy and evil works of the enemy. Uphold us, Lord, in your righteous hand and let your peace that surpasses all understanding guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. We ask Holy Spirit to fill each person, to deliver them, 
to surround them with your peace, your love, your joy. Come and touch your people as they are pressing into the fasting. Give them the grace to finish off the last two days. Bless them, touch them, fill them today. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy coming to you from the prayer mountain. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok. Go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. Precious saints, it is time to press in this fasting finish it off strong precious saints i'll be coming to africa very soon get ready africa i am on the way get ready also for another fasting program um also within august that will be at the beginning of august may the lord bless you from my family to yours god bless you we love you we are praying for you precious saints shalom shalom shalom